admissions, including that he used his office to facilitate visas to Chinese nationals who he did not know. The PUP today has called for his resignation because he has breached the Constitution and violated the immigration laws and the criminal laws of Belize. In Dangriga, we caught up today with the PUP leader Francis Fonseca, who addressed the issue. I think it was a very strong statement from Senator Leslie, Senator Father Leslie, uh, joined in that statement by the Bishop of the Catholic Bishop, Bishop Doric Wright, uh, in calling, as you said, calling for the repeal of that Petro Carib law uh, in very, very strong language. Uh, they denounced and condemned the manner in which this government is using Petro Carib funds. Um, so very much in line with what we have been saying uh, about the abuse and misuse of those funds. Um, and I, we, we certainly are absolutely, um, we, we, we congratulate the Catholic Church for taking a very firm and clear stand against the use of these funds and against this law, which we believe is an illegal law. Um, and for Father Leslie, Senator Father Leslie, stepping forward and and clarifying for the Belizean people uh, why he was in fact forced to vote yes in the Senate, uh, which was not in fact his own position on the matter. I think that was very important. People were a little confused since he had previously voted no uh, on the Petro Carib law itself, and now he was voting yes on the amendments. Um, and we certainly call on the other members of the Council of Churches, the other uh, denominations. Um, to set aside their personal relationships with this UDP government and with Mr. Barrow and look at what this law means for the country, or this, for the country and what it means for the people of Belize. And I think that is what the Catholic Church has done. They have set aside the politics and looked at what this law means for Belize, what it means for the people and what it means for the future development of Belize. And they have taken a very firm and principled position which we fully support and endorse. The church went so far as to say that what the act seeks to do is to make a, an illegal act legal, which is a strong position to take. And it, is, it has been the opposition's position from the very beginning. Does that vindicate the position of the, the opposition to have the church step so strongly behind you all? Well, it certainly, uh, it certainly strengthens our position and strengthens our hand. Uh, we were not seeking vindication because we believe, we always believe that that was the correct position. And as you know, we have taken this matter to court. Um, and in court, that is exactly what we are saying to the court, that this is an unlawful act uh, which seeks to correct illegal wrongs. And the court should not, uh, should not endorse that. So we are very, very glad that the Catholic Church has in fact uh, seen that position and, uh, and it's clearly been on the basis of their own legal advice that they have gotten. Um, so it's clear that our position is the right position and the Barrow administration's position on this petro Carib law is wrong, continues to be wrong and we continue to demand uh, that this petro Carib law be repealed.